Hello YouTube, this is Chardar Yu-Gi-Oh! And today we are playing some Rocket Guard Dragon. Uh, just trying to see what this deck can do. Alright, looks like our opponent's going first, and we did not open a hand trap. Uh, looks like our opponent's playing Salad. Normal summons Flame Buffalo. Special summons Bailinx. Activates Effect of Buffalo. Does not activate the Effect of Bailinx. Activates Gazelle. Effect of Gazelle. Sends Salomon Great Roar to the grave. Activates the field spell. Activates the effect of Foxy. Pitching another Foxy. Special Foxy. Special summons Mirage Stelio. Mirage Stelio. Special summons Jack Jaguar. We have Twin Twisters to out the roar, but our hand is not amazing. So we're going to see what our opponent, what else our opponent sets up. Special summons Sunlight Wolf. Special summons another Sunlight Wolf. Effect of Sunlight Wolf adds back the roar. Activates Jack Jaguar. Put Sunlight Wolf back in the deck, special summons it. Sunlight Wolf triggers, adds Gazelle back to hand, sets the mystery card. It's definitely not a Salomon Great Roar. And opponent passes the turn. Alright, so I was going to have Twin Twisters discard Tempest, but we do have the two instant fusion mechanics in both. We're going to discard Tempest anyway. If the game goes long, having the extra instant fusion might be nice. So Tempest, target back row and sanctuary. So we know we're adding the roar here. But I can use the roar to save the sanctuary. That's probably the correct play. Alright, and now our opponent's negate that we know about is gone. And hope they don't have a hand trap. If they have a hand trap, I don't think we can win this. Activate unexpected die. Special summon flame Bogard. Activate instant fusion. Special summon dark fire dragon. Special summon Eeb. I just got very excited that dark fire dragon was a dark instead of a fire attribute. But then I remember we have the Flame Bell Guard anyway, which turns on our opponent's Hita. Our opponent Ashes the Eeb. We can normal summon the Magna Rocket Dragon. Alright, this is far from optimal. Do we have two dragons in Grave? Thinking about what uh, we can do here. The answer is definitely not much. Alright, activate Tempest, banishing Darkfire Dragon and Flame Bell Guard. If our opponent has another hand trap here. Then we're even worse shape than we were before, and we're in pretty rough shape. One in the chat asks if the game froze. Oh, sorry, that's not for you. Don't know what that's about. Special summon Tempest. Special summon Lambda. Activate World Chalice Just Car. Special summon World Chalice Guard Dragon. Special summon LP. Normal summon Magna Rocket Dragon. Special summon Pisty. Activate LP if. LP resolves. I think we're back in this. All right, LP resolved. Special summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, and our opponent scooped it up. Um, I was very excited to see where we were going to go from there. I don't think I would have scooped that early. It's very likely we were going to build a board through that. Uh, for Salad, Sight and Pancratops for sure. Impermanence seems strong. Uh, the Salad deck is not nearly as resilient as it used to be. So that seems strong. Um, going second, we probably don't need called buys. And let's try it like that. Alright, uh, opponent is definitely going first. And we did not open any of our nine hand traps or three panker tops. Uh, this is such a strong hand going first. And I'm imagining that unless our opponent can set up a much more disruptive hand than they did normal summons Ghost Ogre. Uh, that's not promising. Activates Will of the Salomon Great. Well, this is uh, not an inspiring start from the Salomon Great deck, but I'm going to give our opponent a lot of credit here for playing through this. We definitely can't stop them, so let's see what they can do. Special Spinning Off Will makes Mirage Stelio. Activates Mirage Stelio. Special Gazelle. Effective Gazelle. Sends Rage. Rage is definitely stronger against our deck. Uh, the problem with Roar, Roar negates more, which can be powerful, but Roar will only ever trade itself for one other card, and Rage will trade one card for two cards, which a control mid midrangey deck like the Salomon Great deck wants to do. Just generate card advantage and grind out the game. Uh, special Sunlight Wolf, Special Spinny, effect of Sunlight Wolf, grabs back Gazelle, uses Spinny to make Bailinx, effect of Bailinx. Add Sanctuary. Activate Sanctuary. Special Summons Another Sunlight Wolf. Does not use uh, Sanctuary to use just the Sunlight Wolf. Activate Sunlight Wolf. Adds Rage back to hand. Sets Rage. Sets another back row. 
Alright, so our opponent put Bailing in the grave so they can protect um, Sun Knight Wolf from being destroyed. Uh, we're probably going to try to bait it out with Institution. Uh, activate Tiny Spirit while our board is open. Our opponent has a Artifact Sanctum set. I think that's the only card we can't play through. Special Summon Tenny Spirit. Activate Instant Fusion. Oh, that was bad. Probably shouldn't have put it in this column in case this is infinite impermanence. Definitely put it in uh, one of the columns that are had that our opponent doesn't have a back row in. Alright, we're not going to get punished for it, but that was definitely a bad play. Summon Restrict. Opponent does not activate Rage yet. Restrict target Sunlight Wolf. Now our opponent impermanences the Thousand Eyes. Hmm. So opponent still has Rage set. Uh, we can't special summon Lambda yet because that's our only generic uh, Link 2 that points uh, left and right. I think we're going to activate Fossil Dig. Not in the same column as the Infinite Impermanence. That's important. Add Overaptor. Normal summon Overaptor. Activate Overaptor. Oh, searching Pancratops is really cute. Might end up doing that later. Send Carmen get on to grave. Now here we have a choice. If we special summon Alexandrite Dragon, we can link it with the Tendy Spirit, sync it with the Tendy Spirit. But if we special summon the Guard Dragon, we can sync it with the Ogre Raptor. Thinking the Guard Dragon is less risky. We'll want that more. Even if we just end up summoning it back with the Guard Dragon, uh, we'll probably want to be, have access to a tuner more than we'll want a non-tuner. Opponent rages now. This makes our decision very easy because we just special summon whatever. Uh, oh, sure. Okay, so they destroy our tuner and our level four. We're special summon the Flamebow Guard. Special summon Lambda. Activate World Legacy Guard Dragon. Targeting Flamebow Guard. Definitely special summoning it. And our opponent scoops it up. So how this would have worked is. Are we use the make LP, use the guard dragon, move the LP over, special summon Rise Dark and Metal Dragon, uh, summon either the Magna Rocket Dragon back from hand or the Flamebow Guard back, and make Pisty, uh, make Agrapain, link it away again. We also have this arrow given to us by the Sunlight Wolf, which helps out that play a lot. So um, I still think our opponent is scooping a little too early here. I would normally wait and see how this goes, unless you're going into time in a major event. But this whole match is about 15 minutes, so I would say don't scoop that up early. But a win is a win, and our deck crushed Salad handily.